Uh, hello, this is Kin 31 Body Sculpting, um, the online class, and I would like to go over the course terminology with you today before we move on with the rest of the handout or the topics that we're going to cover in this class. So just to be on the same page with the terminology that we use, um, uh, we're going to review these four items together. The first one is exercise versus a workout. So the each move that you are doing in a given uh, workout, okay, uh, is called an exercise. So it's a structured movement, specific movement uh, that is being performed in a workout. So exercise and workout cannot be the same thing when we use it in, in this class, when the exercises are put together to design a program that is called a workout. So let's use the word workout for the entire exercise program that we put together with many different exercises and an exercise just for one movement that we perform. And the second one is the set versus repetitions. Uh, the number of times we perform a, an exercise or a movement, such as a squat, uh, continuously without giving a break is called the number of repetitions, okay? For example, if you do your squats 15 times in a rhythmical manner without stopping, that is the 15 repetitions of a body weight squat exercise. The act of going through these prescribed number of repetitions is called a set. So the, a set of repetitions, okay? So if you repeat the exercise 15 times, that is a set of 15 squats. And if you want to do another a round of 15, that is the second set of the 15 rep squats or however many repetitions you can do in the second set. And if you want to repeat it again, that's the third set. So the exercises are done uh, in the test, I mean, in, uh, in the workout with the set mind uh, set in mind. Okay, so you're just following the guidelines uh, or the prescription by repeating the sets. Okay, so when you take a break between your sets, what happens? Let's say you were prescribed by your doctor or your physical therapist or your personal trainer that you're supposed to do 10 repetitions of squats for three sets. So you do 10 repetitions. You stop, take a break, and then do the second round of 10. Stop, take a break, and then the third round of 10, which takes about, um, let's say, five, let's say, two, six, 10 minutes in total, three times 10 body weight squats. Okay? So, so, so to reduce the amount of time that we waste between the sets, and also get the cardio benefits, what we do is we pair two exercises, okay, based on a certain strategy that we're going to see in a minute, okay, we pair them up into a group or pair or a double exercises and perform them back to back without that rest between the first and the second and the third sets. So your the second exercise in the pair serves as your rest for the first exercise in the pair. So to be more specific, let's say I'm um, pairing up a squat exercise with a bicep curl, just for the sake of an example. So squat, 10 repetitions, is done, okay, for the first set. Instead of waiting to be able to do the second set, 
you grab the dumbbells and do your first set of bicep curls, 10 repetitions. Then you're done with two exercises, the, the first set of two exercises in the time that you would spend for one exercise. This also gives you a benefit of cardio uh, respiratory endurance performance enhancement, okay? Um, and then if you are gonna go for another set, you might wanna take a break between the first set of those two exercises or uh, that is called a superset, okay? The first set of the superset, you can take a break and then you can repeat the same thing for the second time. So that was gonna be our fourth item in this document, a superset, and everything is also explained in your handout so you can read the um, the details about it but that's what it is okay basically so while we're on the topic i want to uh, say that there are three overall strategies that you can i mean you cannot just pick uh, a random exercise to pair up with another one there should be some logic to it there should be some rationale uh, the way we look at it is, while, while I'm doing the second exercise in my superset, the first muscle group that I just worked out should be resting. So if I'm supersetting two exercises that work the same muscle group, that defeats its purpose. Because the first exercise, let's say, is going to tire up your biceps, and then the if you do this, uh, if you pick up a bicep exercise as the second exercise in your pair, that's gonna also tire up your biceps, which is not our goal to do a superset. So the strategies that we can use or the techniques that we can use are three. You can use opposing muscle group um, exercises to pair, okay, in a superset, biceps, and a tricep exercise, perfect. And then you can do a lower body, upper body. So if you do a squat followed by a shoulder press, that is another good example of a superset. And then maybe um, 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 a different muscle action, instead of thinking about the uh, opposing muscle group, we can look at it as um, different muscle action. Okay, so you can use those strategies to pair up two exercises as a superset. Going back to the second item in our list, oh, the third, sorry, workshop versus a workout. So in this class, we're gonna first, aim learning the anatomy and the training exercises for a particular body part. So we're dividing the body into its pieces or parts, such as lower body and chest and upper back and arms, core. And then every single day, we're gonna take just one, learn the anatomy, and those exercises that work that muscle or the body part, okay, on a given day. So on a, in a workshop, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover all the exercises that are possible or the given or the specific body part that we picked for the day. And we're gonna try to learn how to perform them in a proper manner, with the proper form, okay? That's the workshop. It was a little tiresome, so take it easy. Do not strain your body. Try to learn. You can uh, use this strategy. You can watch and listen to the instructions first before you attempt doing it. And then maybe you can try it with a couple of repetitions because on that specific day, you have to be going through all the exercises that are possible for that given body part, which is a little intense. That, again, I repeat, take it easy. Do not force your body. Do not strain it uh, during the workshops and 
your goal should be learning the proper technique to perform that specific exercise. So once we're gonna be done with all the uh, separate body parts and the exercises, we're gonna then move on to the workouts. Workouts will have a goal, specific goal, uh, and we will also look at how we design a workout, okay? So in the workout, you, for example, you might have a goal of improving upper body strength. So you're going to go ahead and, and if you also aim at cardiovascular uh, endurance improvement, you might want to, uh, you know, use some resetting um, strategy to be able to reduce the amount of time that you spend in the workout. Okay, so, and those acronyms you can use in your own program design or exercise prescription. And you can also, you know, see those or rep, um, use this document as a reference on our uh, website or Canvas shell, okay? So that's about it for the first portion of the lecture. I'll see you in the next one.